What's up guys, Alex back at you with another quick easy episode of how to. Today, a uh, simple one, but actually I have quite a few people uh, that come in and uh, ask me just to show it how to do them, do it for them real quick. Uh, <clears throat> just because it doesn't happen every so often, so, you know, nobody really pays attention to it. And like, I, I don't blame anybody. Like, it's not like it's hard, but, you know, why, <laughs> what does it even matter? Unless you're taking apart deep cleaning your mask, like every single day after every single uh, day of play or anything like that. Like, I probably wouldn't even ever look at it. Um, but I do it all the time, so, because uh, I, you know, fix everybody's stuff. Uh, so just quick, easy, and fun, how to uh, swap out the uh, foam kit for uh, V-Force grills. Uh, so they come as this whole little kit with the plastic and the foam already attached. I believe they retail for like 20 bucks. Uh, don't quote me on that. <clears throat> it might be a touch lower, but they come as this whole little kit, so there's no scraping off foam, putting on glue, putting foam back on, waiting to let it dry, and then hoping it just stuck in the first place. Uh, comes already attached the little uh, kind of face shield plastic part right there. Uh, obviously you can get them in uh, black, which almost every mask, uh, every grill comes with um, a black one. But it also comes, as you can see here in this little uh, prepackaged one, it comes in olive. I don't really know which ones come with olive, maybe like the dual tan, uh, the olive drab dual tan thing might come with uh, the olive drab one, but realistically, you're never actually gonna see what color this is underneath. Like even uh, the white purple one, which is like white and pink to me, I think, uh, has a white one, but you realistically, you're never gonna see it. So it doesn't really matter, but they come in two different colors. Uh, so real quick, just to write it aside, uh, this is how you do it. So uh, first part is going to, uh, you know, uh, take out your strap and everything like that, just like you're taking off, uh, taking out your lens. So if you know how to do that, obviously there's two tabs on the inside right here. They're just little buckles. You just pinch them together so you can pull them back. Do the other side, pinch them together, pull it out. And then uh, these two tabs on the side right here, that and that, you can push out on the inside of them and just slide them back and out, just like you're taking your lens off. And then obviously you're gonna have to take out your lens so you know, pop it out from the little clip that's kind of on the side there and put that aside. So right underneath where these tabs are, uh, you'll see a little circle and it's got uh, a little lock and unlock symbol on it. And it's not where, uh, it's not where the cut in the little circle uh, is pointing. You'll actually see two little arrows on this little circle dial thing and you just need to make the arrows point towards the unlock symbol. Uh, so for that, uh, it's kind of like just like a kind of crescent like half thing. Uh, I'm using a quarter. You can certainly probably if they're loose enough like use your fingernail or something like that. I'm gonna use a quarter. Any piece of spare change will work. It works fine. Uh, so just put it in the groove and it's only gonna be a quarter turn. So move both of those to the unlock position and it rotates 360 degrees so you don't have to do it one way or the other. Um, but after that You'll see on the inside, as you look at this one that come, it's already out, you'll see there's, there's a hole for that lock right here. So you're gonna take it and just kinda on the mask, just pinch it in, and then you'll be able to pull it out. Uh, just like so. I'm just gonna pop it off that little track, and it comes right out. And there's your foam kit right there. Mine doesn't need replacing, but I'm just showing you how to do it. Uh, so to put it back in, obviously it's literally the complete opposite. Uh, oh man, there's actually a little bit of dirt and paint on the inside here. Hold on. Get out of there. Gross. Don't want that sitting in there for eons and then it'll end up staining and becoming all gross and nasty. Bunch of spray and stuff. Alright, so putting it back in, literally the exact opposite. Uh, as you're putting this back in though, you'll notice there's, there's very... I'm actually going to bring this right up to the camera. There's a... Uh, Ooh, let's point the light right over here so you guys might actually be able to see it. Uh, so if you look at this little foam kit, if the camera wants to zoom in and focus, focus, there we go. Look at the foam kit, you'll notice there's two little tiny holes right up top, right there. And on the bottom, there's two more, it's very tiny. My finger is directly over them so you should be able to see like the color of my finger through it. It's right there. And then there's another one right there. There's two, there's four, there, there we go. There's four very minuscule tabs inside the mask. 
uh, not these big ones, uh, but there's little tiny ones. And as you put it in, it'll pretty much line itself up. Um, but as you put it in, you need to make sure that those line up or else this won't be uh, seated securely in the mask. It's not, it's not like it's hard or anything like that, but it's a very small, tiny thing. And you know, it might kind of just slip by some people. So just make sure that the little tiny tabs are through those tiny holes, especially on the bottom too. And that's pretty much it. Uh, take your quarter, your piece of change, another quarter turn, make the arrows point towards the lock symbol, lock them back up. And your phone kit is back in. Pop your lens in, in my case, this nice, beautiful Kryptonite HDR lens. And then put your little locking tabs back in and clip your strap in. Locking tab in, clip the strap in, give that nice fancy lens a little, just a tiny touch up from a nice fancy brand new microfiber cloth. All right, there you go. That is exactly how easy it is to change a foam kit on the V-Force grills. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys that because I actually just have a lot of people asking me that. So I figured I'd make a quick video. Uh, you know, literally took what? It actually took probably like 30 seconds to actually change it, but I just wanted to show you guys what was going on there. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, liked it, or learned it. In any case, just hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot. And, uh, you know, stay tuned. Subscribe if you're more, uh, for more. If you're new to the channel and stuff like that, welcome. And uh, I will see you guys next time.